Hi, Advice families. In this video, you will see uh, a, dis a demonstration of how to use the different um, control panels on our Google Meet classes. So, for example, how to mute and unmute your screen, uh, your audio, how to turn on your video and close your video, and then also how to leave your Google Meet classes. We'll show both for how to do it on your computer or laptop device and then also on your phone. Hi, FIS families. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can mute and unmute yourself in our Google Meet classes. First, I'm going to go right into the Google Meet classroom. So here, I'm in the Google Meet classroom. Um, in order to mute myself, I'm just going to press this button that's here at the bottom of my screen to turn off my mute, uh, my, my mic. Um, when I press it, it becomes red. I can also see here that it is red. This is so that students in the classroom are not hearing background noises um, in the house. Um, and then you will only unmute after a teacher has called on you. And then you just click it again. And now teachers um, and students can hear me again in the classroom. So here is muted, red, unmute. It's now one. Sci-Fi as families, um, in this video, I'm just going to show you how you can mute and unmute your audio when in a Google Meet class. So on my phone, I'm going to first just go into my Google Meet class. Um, and then if you're in your phone, you're using the app and also in the tablet, if you're using the app, you will use just the same way. Um, so when I'm in the Google Meet class, I can already see that some people are muted um, here, but I am not muted. Um, and so the way that I'm going to mute myself on the phone, I'm just going to tap and then it pops up on the screen, the microphone, the hang up button, and then the video. Um, so if I tap it again, I'm going to press the microphone and then it becomes red. Um, that means I'm muted um, and it's important to be muted so that we don't hear any of the background noises happening at homes. And that also means that you're ready to listen to the teacher um, as they deliver the lesson. Um, you will only unmute if you're called on to share something or if you have a question, in the same way to unmute, you tap the screen, it pops up here. You're gonna just click the little button and then it'll become, um, it won't be red anymore. And then now we can hear your voice, um, you can share your ideas. And then after you've shared your ideas, you're gonna again tap the screen, it pops up, and then you're going to hit mute again. Thank you. Hi, FIS families. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can open the video camera on your Google Meets so that your teachers and your friends can all see you. I'm going to first start by going into my Google Meets class that's already been started. And then once there, I should see a screen that looks like this. We've already done in our, in our videos how to mute and unmute. Um, voices. I can see that here in my Google Meet class, I muted because it's red. If I want to unmute, I click the screen, this comes up, and I click microphone and I'm unmuted. Um, but we're always ready for class when we're muted. Um, right now my video is on. I can tell that my video was on. I can pin it here or I can look here up in the corner and I can see my video there. Um, our videos need to be on for our classes just so that students um, Teachers can see all of their students and students can see their friends. Um, and you can see again, the video button is here at the bottom. When it is red, that means my video is off and I am not ready for class. To be ready for class, I need to make sure that I click this button um, and it is white and then I can see my scalp um, on the video. So when it is red, not ready for class. When it is white, we are ready for class and ready to participate. Hi again, FIS families. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can um, turn on and off your camera video in our Google Classroom Meets. So on my phone, I'm first just going to go into my classroom that's already been started. Here I can see um, someone else's video that is on. And I'm just going to turn that one off. So on this one, I can see that I've already been muted because when I'm muted, that means I'm ready for class. But also here that's turned off is my video camera, which is also red. Um, for class, my mute needs to be on and red, but my camera should be 
not ready. It should be white or clear just like this. And then I can see myself. Um, we need to make sure that we can see all of the students so that they are participating actively with their eyes and ears. Um, so if it is clear like this, that means your video was on. Red means that you're not ready for class. And so you need to make sure you just tap the screen and click it, that button, um, and then we can see your video just like this. Hi, FS families. So the last video I want to show you for our Google Classroom is how to leave the Google Meet class. You would need to leave the Google Meet classroom only to make sure you go back to the Google Classroom um, stream to see what other um, subjects or assignments might be posted. Uh, because we've been having mostly Google Meet classes, but going forward, they may change. Some may be from PowerPoint presentations, some may be video. So it is important that your student does sign off after each period and go back into the Google Classroom. And so the way that they do that, I'm gonna first start by sharing with you um, the my Google Classroom, uh, excuse me, my Google Meets. And so here I can see that I am muted, so I'm ready for class in that aspect, but now my video is off, which I should not have. My video should be on if I am in the class and participating, and then now you should see my video. Um, so I'm muted um, so I can listen to my teacher and my video is on so that my teacher can see me and so I'm ready for class. Um, so now class has ended. Um, the teacher will now sit into the classroom until all students have exited um, their Google Meet classroom. And so the way that you exit the Google Meet classroom, you'll start by saying bye bye teacher um, and then you're going to hit this button to leave the call. Um, and again, this is on your computer or yeah, if your computer or you're using a web browser. And so when you leave the call, that will exit you out of your, your classroom. Um, and so when you leave, you're going to go back to the Google Classroom. So I'm going to show you. Um, I'm going to just hit the phone to hang up. And it says you have, you've left the meeting. Um, and then I'm done with this classroom. So after that, I'm going to go back to the top of my tab here. And I'm going to go back into my Google Classroom. So if I was just in this class, I'll wait for the teacher to post something new um, so I can join again. So after you hang up, you've left the class, you go back into the Google Classroom stream and wait for the next assignment. Again, because it may not be inside of the Google Classroom, it may be a PowerPoint presentation or a video sent or uploaded by the teacher. Hi, FIS families. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can leave a Google Meet video class on your phone or tablet. So first I'm gonna go into my Google Meet class and then, sorry, I've been out and I'm gonna rejoin into the class. And so then you can see I'm in my Google Meet classroom and I'm also ready for class because I have both my audio muted and my video on. If my video was off, I would not be ready for class and I would have to turn that on. Or if I was not muted, I would have to mute myself. Um, but currently I am ready for class as I have been muted and my video on. Um, after class has completed, after the teacher has said um, class has ended, we're all gonna say goodbye and the teacher will sit in the Google Classroom meet until all students have exited. So it's important that students do leave um, right away and go back or have a 10 minute break or they go back into the Google Classroom to see what's the new thing that's been posted. And so in order to leave, I'm gonna put, just again, tap my screen, and I'm gonna hit the one that looks like a phone. So I'm tap, and then when I hit the one that it looks like a phone, it just goes off. And then now I have left um, that Google Meet. Um, and so after I leave the Google Meet, it's important for me to go back into the Google Classroom. And so however you shift between your apps, um, you just go back into the Google Classroom. So you can either um, do it how you have these many different menus, or you can do it um, on your on your home screen. After I come back to the Google Classroom, I'll update it by just dragging down the screen and you can see the little ball um, twirling around. Um, and then it will update for anything that's new that's posted. Um, this is important because you may have a PowerPoint posted or a video posted that is not a Google Meet. 
Um, so you need to exit and come back into the Google Classroom stream. Thank you. Thank you, FIS families. Uh, again, if there are any questions, please do reach out to your admin uh, or to myself um, if you need any help. Have a great day.